Well, it's been many months, but I suppose it's time to come back and try and finish this one up, because it's it's overdue. Like, we're like right at the final chapter, and then I paused for quite a while. Mostly because, you know, I'm getting kind of annoyed with how long this one's been going, to be honest. Okay. Like, it just, just feels like it'll never end. Fear the Great. I've only heard of it. But I didn't think it was real. Well, apparently it is. We should do something about it. A system to destroy the world by absorbing malice and giving it a physical form. Well, they're going to absorb the malice of just one dude, it seems like. That hmm. is a program known as Fear the Great. System? Program? Yeah, let's not ask too many questions. To simplify it even more, it means that the world is going to be destroyed by the malice of the stupid humans. Which means you can't conquer it! But why does this have to happen now? Is this the work of the aliens too? No. No! The activation of fear the great can only be done by order from God! Yep. God? Isn't God supposed to help us? Apparently we're beyond helping. <laughs> isn't here to save humans. God is not like demons and angels. He presides over the entire universe. He is not anyone's son. <laughs> it's his job to pretend to have almighty power and keep order in the universe. Extinction of human beings, when compared to the vastness of the universe, probably isn't that big of a deal to him. Probably not. It's just probably like a drop in a bucket, you know. You probably won't notice it. And fear the great was activated. Why has God decided to destroy the humans? I don't know. I'm not God. Is it because Ben Ben didn't say his prayers seriously? Oh, please. Well, according to what I read, fear the great is activated when the amount of malice on a planet exceeds a certain level. Okay, that is one malevolent guy, I guess. Every planet, huh? Even the ones that don't have life on it. Why? Getting killed by your own malice. What an ironic system. Yeah, if we learned anything from Full Metal Alchemist, God loves his ironies. So, was Nemo the trigger that activated Fear the Great? Probably. Well, obviously we have to go down there and kill him. <sighs> but what are we supposed to do? The human world is full of malice. It might already be too late. Hmm. Trying about it isn't going to turn things around. Isn't there a way to stop fear the great? Well, I guess we can try beating it up really bad. So we just punch it really hard. Got it. It can't be helped. No one has ever successfully stopped fear the great in the past. Well, obviously they didn't punch it hard enough. <laughs> it's up to us to change history with our own hands. If you're that determined, then I'll go ahead and open the path to fear the great. Only we, the ones with the power of light, can do that. Thanks. God, watch us now. We'll stop this arrogant system you've created and crush your ego. And become gods ourselves, I guess. Whatever. Is that even possible? Fighting a system that was created by God? Well, I guess we'll find out. Or die trying. What's the matter, Desco? Are you saying that you're afraid of God? Aren't you supposed to be the ultimate boss? Despite the fact, you know, I never leveled her up. I know, it's horrible. What about you, rascal? 
Will you follow the destiny that was laid out by God? I, I'm... Uh, I'm gonna go with you, of course. So what about God? I can't be a demon if I'm afraid of him. Eh, I guess not. What do you say, lass? Do you even have to ask? If I save the world from this crisis, I'll definitely become the ruler of Earth! <laughs> ah, naive. There's no reason for me to ignore this awesome opportunity. Fenric, are you... Actually, never mind. Yeah, no point in asking. Yes, all is for my lord. And shall we head out? To rebel against God? Please, wait. Why didn't you ask me? Are you sure? You'll be going against God. You know that, right, Angel? Still, I want to come. I have responsibilities, too. And a heck of a lot of money to collect. Okay. Then do what you want. Questions, are you? Like, who are you? Are you curious to find out what happened between me and Nemo? I can wait till you're willing to talk about it. After all, that's what allies do for each other. Allies? So you accept me as an ally? I'm honored. Well, now. The real final episode! Ties deeper than darkness. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to ask Devi Ma about that one. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. The minimum cheat limit is now zero. Okay. Well, I don't really need healing. I can't claim a prize. Let's go fight, I guess. Well, now. Well, obviously, yeah. Thank you, Lady Flan. I can't imagine what would happen if any of the other Archangels found out about this. They probably already know. I'm so sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> oh, it was nothing. She's kind of used to it. She used to hang out with a Harl. I don't know what exactly it takes to open up a path to a dimension, but Archangels seem to be wicked cool. Unlike Celestial Hosts, which are terrible. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you are a final boss, Flonzilla. Really? I don't know if I agree with that. Oh, it looks like Celestia is running low on intelligent officers as well as on funds. Yeah, you already went there. Someone who's scheming to take over the world could never be an angel. Yep, brutally honest, man. How do you know? If this lady can be an archangel, I'm pretty sure I can too. You can't have my position. I'll never recruit you. Well, that was brutal. Well, that's one way to get yourself a ban. Please stop, Lady Archangel. Your dignity as an Archangel. Oops. Oh, you're right. <laughs> well, everyone, please take care of my Archie. Make sure she returns safely. Don't worry about that. You can count on me. Or you can count on the rogue. 
Thank you. It's, it's only natural to protect an ally. There's no need to thank me. Oh, right. Hmm. Albatoros knows that the Thief Angel is officially our team now, but his attitude towards her hasn't changed a bit. He's actually acting more indifferent. You have no idea, do you? No. Please don't explain it. He's totally holding himself back. You can tell he can't stop thinking about her. He's just trying to cover it up, huh? Desco's excitement is now stimulating her libido. We did not need to know that, little girl. Oof. Shut up, you lascivious females. My lord couldn't possibly be thinking about women before the final battle. Oh, yeah? Isn't it about time for you to grow apart from your master, huh? Kill him. Desco will protect me, sis. There's no point saying that from behind my back. Pretty sure he's right in front of you, according to this image. Could you guys please start acting serious already? No, because acting unseriously is half their charm. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should feel reassured by their light-hearted attitude or not. <laughs> We're raising a rebellion against God. Hmm. We should feel completely confident. Should we? Everyone, let's go beat up the almighty God. I thought we were being a fear of the great. Tyrant Valvatoris' rebellion which started in Hades, the prison of the Netherworld, has grown to become a rebellion against a system created by God. There were no hints of despair or hopelessness in the faces of those headed into battle. The only things that were apparent were that their hearts believed in the future, and they were determined to carve out their own paths by the strength of their own powers. Gosh darn, this is a lot of cutscenes, man. Oh, and f the Archangel's gone now? Okay. <sighs> Swarming Malice. Let's do it. Hell, it feels pretty weird in here. Why wouldn't it? It's... Damn. Uh, Desco hears strange noises, too. Sounds like those guys on those drugs in Sui Coden 5, man. Y yeah, sounds like someone moaning. This place is creepy. Only slightly less aggressive. You are a demon, aren't you? Grow up hair. <laughs> but it must be the voices of human hatred. I don't know, it didn't really sound like a voice. Fear the Great is really gathering a lot of human malice. We just have to defeat all that malice, so fear the great will lose his power source. Yeah, but how do we fight something that's not actually here? Huh. It's like punching a ghost, but we do that all the time. Manifestations of malice, I guess. They don't look normal. These are the physical forms of malice. These physical manifestations of malice are wandering around, looking for targets to take all of their anger out on. The product of fools. It's enough to make me laugh. Some of them seem familiar. Indeed, but their images are too accurate to have been created by the current humans from Earth. Yes, all of them were created by one human. Nemo. The human that we know all too well. The human who possesses the most malice. Are you doing this, lass? Jeez. Are you out of your mind? My lord, please listen to them. 
You should be able to hear his voice. Destroy. Destroy. Humans. Everything. Everything. And everyone who took everything away from me that one day. And who have forsaken me. Is this... Nemo? Judge! Nemo? Yeah, who else would it be? Jeez. What is he talking about? The day she died? Producing this much malice by himself. He must be holding on to a tremendous amount of hatred. So much, in fact, that God has forsaken him. What could have caused him to be this way? Well, not that I can. Then why ask the question? We <laughs> must defeat these bodies of malice, destroy his personal hatred, and return them to Ash! Okay, we can finally fight after like 16 minutes worth of cutscenes? Jeez. Silence? Ah, man. I'll show you sardine power! Okay, I can go here. Oh. Ready for me? Okay. Well, that's one down. Let's see what they got for me. Okay. Blew himself up, huh? Oh, that is a bye-bye panel, I guess. I shouldn't be surprised. Gosh darn it. Blast cube. Gosh darn it. Oh, jeez. Let's see. Can I, like, please throw him over just a little bit? Um, Hurricane Slash. Okay, get away from the bye-bye panels. Well, team attack. Well, that didn't work. Gosh darn, this thing's tough. Okay. Wicked boots, eh? Doesn't feel like much of a reward, to be honest. Um. Well. That did nothing. Uh, I probably should hit her. Well, goodbye, Angel. Yep, called it. Okay. Okay, I couldn't counter attack. You think I would have gotten a counter, man? Ugh. Finish you off real quick. Yeah, that's something that would work. Yeah, there it is. Oh, you should follow up, I guess. Well, that's uh, one way to go out and achieve nothing. Okay. Hopefully I'm not too close. I don't want to die. Seriously. 
No one's gonna help me with that one. Like, why is it charging me? I know it's slow, but... It's gotta be better than just standing there. Apparently. Nothing is impossible for Big Sis. Let's keep this up and defeat them all. All of them? How much more of it is out there? Oh, I don't see an end to this. You're right. There's no end to his mouse. We guess find the source. <sighs> that voice. What is this? The voices are in my head! The emotions are flowing in. These feelings. Oh, great. It hurts. So much pain. So much struggle. The sadness. The despair is taking over. However, the strongest of all is anger. Or is it hate? Forgiveness. I'll destroy everything. Oh my gosh. Father, mother, everyone I love, and Miss Artina. I won't forgive them. Those who took everyone away from me, and those who didn't do anything to protect them. Would you just shut up? Humans, demons. And angels. I'll destroy everything. Is it over? For now, at least. That was scary. <sighs> Desko thought she was gonna go crazy. <sighs> I feel so dizzy. Anyway, why don't you explain now? You know what's going on, don't you? Uh. Those words of hatred. What's his motive? Revenge? It sounded like the deaths of you and his family had something to do with it. <sighs> hey, you don't have to be like that. You're making it sound like this is Artina's fault. Uh. That's true. Miss Artina is a good person. She's so good, she was killed by her countrymen for treating their enemies. And the world is about to be destroyed because of her hypocritical actions. It's only natural she's to blame for this. <sighs> Fenric, no, it's really not the time. You're right. I know I'm partially responsible for this. Huh? But isn't that weird? Hasn't it been a while since Valvatora stopped drinking blood and lost his powers? About 400 years, I think. Uh. Then Artina must have died about 400 years ago, too. There's no way Nemo could have met Artina. Yeah, he might probably made himself part demon. Actually, I have met Nemo. And he has survived for 400 years to punish the humans for their sins. 400 years? Humans can't live that long. Yeah, his soul should have been hunted down by death a long time ago. <laughs> Did you think death could actually beat him to take his soul? No. He evaded death and survived all these years, even after his body had crumbled to dust. So, is he a ghost? Apparently. That's correct. He only exists by the will of his soul. A ghost, huh? No wonder he was able to appear in Hades and then on the moon. A vengeful heart that remains, even after losing his body. He must possess so much hatred. Is it because of what Fenric said? <sighs> oh my gosh. We don't have much time. Fear the Great will keep growing through absorbing malice while we stand here. You'll have to tell us the story of Judge Nemo's birth as we keep moving ahead. <sighs> Well, that'll do it for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.